from the AbletonCookbook.com and right now we're going to talk about one of the uh, most common chord changes that, and it's certainly going to sound familiar to you, it's called the 5-1. This, this is a chord change that you'll hear quite a bit and um, I'm going to try to do a series of these on really common chord changes and uh, you'll see that a lot of more complicated chord changes are actually made up of sort of uh, little little uh, strings of pretty common chord changes. So this is a one called the 5-1 and it's pretty common. And you might ask yourself, why is it called the 5-1? Well, and especially uh, it's, in, it's in, always in Roman numerals. But something that is a convention of music theory is that, um, and it's actually, they do this for a good reason, is that um, they refer to chord changes generally in numbers and in Roman numerals, Roman numerals rather, in specific, because uh, it's not about the actual notes, it's about the um, the intervals between the notes. So every chord change is based on the major scale, which I discussed a few posts back, and I'll put the link in this post. Um, and the the five one is simply put, it is a chord change from uh, a chord based on the fifth note, thus the five of the major scale, to the first note, um, thus the one in the major scale. So if we have a C major chord or C major scale rather, which would go like this. The 5 1 would be from the fifth note of the scale, which is if you're in the key of C, it goes C, D, E, F, G. That's the fifth chord, or fifth note rather. From the fifth note, dun, 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 dun. so this is a pretty common, common resolution. It goes from the fifth to the first. Okay, and remember that, so what we gotta do is we gotta make a chord based on the G and then a chord based on the C. And in this case, it's going to be a C to make a G chord. It's going to be a G, and then it's going to be a B, and then it's going to be a D. And if you notice that the way that we're making these chords is based on the triad that we talked about a few posts ago, but what it's also based on is just every other note of the major scale. So if it goes G to A, oh sorry, G to <coughs> A, and then B, and then C, and then D. So if I play every other one of those, then I have a G major chord. So I can go from G major down to C. So G major to C. And that is C, E, G. Remember, every other note of the scale played at the same time. Bam. Now, this is um this is sounds really good. Anytime you do any sort of 5-1, it's going to sound really strong. But what we don't have now is a very strong resolution. And what resolution means is the release of tension in a chord change. So even though these chords sound good together, they don't sound necessary. It's like you could just sit on this G forever. And you don't feel like you need to move to any chord. So the way that we can add more tension to this is we can actually just um, we add what's called the 7th. And so the backbone of a chord is the triad, but then there's an optional note that you can play, it's called the seventh. And what that is, is just, so remember that we could make a chord by playing the, the every other note of a major scale. So to make a C chord, you can go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? So to make a major chord, I just go C, E, G. Now the seventh is just going to be the next one up, right? And so instead of playing A, I'm going to play B. So, and that is the seventh. The B is the seventh. Okay. And the same thing if I want to do a G chord. If I want to make a G seven chord, I'm going to start on G. I'm going to play every other note. So G A B. So G and B. And then it's going to be C D. Oh, sorry. C C C D. And then D. So. so now you can see in that G chord, when I have the seventh in it, it adds a little bit of dissonance. And now it's gonna be a lot more satisfying when I resolve to the C. And definitely that's gonna sound a little bit jazzier than maybe you'd like, but it's definitely good if you wanna add, like a, if you wanna make your chord changes really strong. So instead of sounding like you could either stay on this G or not, you wanna make it sound like it needs to go, it needs to go someplace. 
twice, it needs to resolve, it can resolve only to the C. Okay, so that's what we call a resolution, and that's um, a very basic chord change called the 5-1. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, we'll be talking a lot more about chord changes uh, throughout this series of posts, so stay tuned, and if you haven't yet, make sure to either subscribe on YouTube or to uh, sign up for the email list on the blog to be uh, notified whenever we have a tip like this. Okay, talk to you soon. Thank you.